What did you do? What oh, I thought it was the kick him. Away from me. I'm gonna put tape on him. Has anyone ever taught you the definition of stupidity? <laughs> that was. <laughs> Is that a direct reference to Far Cry Three? Definition of insanity is insanity. <laughs> Did I ever tell you? Oh, has anyone ever taught you? Okay. That's what it reminded me of. Huh? Stupidity is doing the same meaningless thing oh, it is. and over again. It is. Is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again. <laughs> Expected. <laughs> Shit to change. Didn't say that part, but it appears you've forgotten what I told you before. That's so, cool. Allow me to refresh your memory. Lay off the dirty tricks. Oh, please tell me nothing bad happened. Yep. The tourist funeral is coming up soon if you want to stop by. There's nothing to worry about with that sort of escort. <laughs> the next time you make a delivery, those treasure hoarders won't go anywhere near your goods. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's to offer to carry them for you. <laughs> wow. Uh, good one, Shiori. I'm being serious. You know, I'm not joking. If I bring something up, you can assume it's already a done deal. You're going back to Inazuma tomorrow, right? See, now Chiori is the complete opposite of Uncle Tian. She she speeds through her uh, her dialogue. <laughs> Did everything go all right on the road? I believe so. The patrol makes for quite the Did entourage. It? The way they marched forward with Kirabra in the center. Oh my gosh. You'd think she was some sort of VIP. For the second <laughs> leg, the Spina also came with a pretty large group, led by Navia herself. Wow. What a what a Giga Chad picture. Let's I kinda wanna see what happens if we do it wrong. Ugh, you didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? Well, this arrangement, it's never mind. It might look like a chaotic oh, no. mess, but I suppose it works as a change of pace. I came here today to cancel my order for that gown. <gasps> uh, cancel your Excuse order. Excuse me? Thank you. Some money out of your pocket. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Um, I'd like to return this item. Oh, could I ask why? It's just dumb. Um, not to my liking. And I'd be happy to process that for you. If you could just tell me the cause of your dissatisfaction. Is Kiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. Oh my gosh. That is Uter. Uter is messing it all up. Another one? Another one. What kind of rags are you trying to sell us, huh? The way I see it, this shop is nothing more than a black market front run <laughs> by a bunch of dirty criminals. Please calm down, sir. I love the muffle outside the door. It's all over the papers. Oh, yep. He has an interesting. Did he go to like the the steam bird about it? The article was even published alongside a photo of you. Whoa, who has all this information? What sort of photo? Uh, a photo of you beating up someone on the street. Oh, yesterday. dang. Hey, that's why you can't be too reckless. Got framed. That was good too, cause like they didn't even do like the classic little scene where somebody's taking a picture in the background. Like you didn't even see anything. Also, I just missed it, missed it. But Ugh. Uter again. It was you. Paimon. You did it. Paimon. Charlotte, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? Charlotte, just she just looks like. A character from her own franchise or something. I don't know what it is. It just has such an iconic look. If you ask me, I think Chioria Boutique is done for. Dang. I mean, what did they expect? Engaging with criminals behind their customers' backs. Tisk tisk tisk. They kept up a solid front, though. I've even bought from them before. Really? How was it? owner was plenty fierce that's for sure makes sense if she regularly deals with criminals i guess i've got the chills just thinking about it this is a cool like little wallpaper this kind of looks like the uh yoshi 
<laughs> That's what it looks like. Just not not the um the sun the sunset. Not yet at least. She loves me, she loves me not. Beauty of Fontaine. Well, how does it feel? Oh shoot. I wasn't misbehaved exactly. I just Her face. often had strange ideas when it came to fashion. Ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. As for fashion week, well, there's always next year, right? She's like, oh no, I'm making it to fashion week. Huh? When did this become an either or situation? Yep, exactly. Yep. Incriminating <laughs> evidence or participate in fashion week. <laughs> I'm doing both. I'm doing both. How are you talking with your mouth open? Just this one. Oh, that's awesome. I think I can make an exception. Go ahead and tear them up. <laughs> think of it as a good way to vent your emotions. Take them down. Good job. That should do it. Chiori, are you all right? Oh, sorry for taking so hey, long. Hey, issues. I is. got caught up and whoa, what happened to your shop? Who we did, did it. This? Those monsters slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even sent people to wreck your shop. <laughs> yep. Give me their names, since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes. I think it's about time the Spina di Rosula returned the favor. Uh, maybe you should calm down a bit first, cause Maybe you should... Uh, I was the one who did it. Uh, uh-huh. Ugh, what is this, a soap opera? I'm done with my interview! Oh. Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? No! <laughs> what happened to the boutique? This is gonna be like everyone's, it's like a sitcom. Who did this? Give me names! I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow! Not this again. <laughs> that slinky sound. Lenny, Lynette! Great, you're both here! What about Fremine? A two-pronged approach? Courtesy first, confrontation second? Nope. Scratch your back, you scratch mine. Uh, yeah, something like that. Welcome to your visitors. A mechanical beep, beep, beep. guide. They usually use a recorded tape to give you a tour of the factory. Please follow me, dear guests. This is pretty advanced for the cheap place he had. Before I actually go, there was like a little hidden area down here. It's nothing. Hold on tight. Oh gosh, we're in the forces of Maripede. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did this thing take us? It seems like <laughs> we're someplace deeper inside the factory. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Speaking of Eula, it kind of reminds me of that that Eula quest. Oh, does it not go down anymore? Why'd it stop? I wanted to see what happened. <laughs> this place is filthy! Are the clothes from Uter's shop seriously made here? Really? Filthy? Look over there. Ugh. Ooh, that water looks super nasty! See, this is what I expected to see oh, in Fontaine. Like the bad parts. Oh, this is a kind of cool way to, you know, have you see what the character can do. And not just like a combat, you know, uh, a random fight. Actually using the character's ability Does to like, like get around. Here. Follow me. Let's go up. Is it going to change since 1.0? Oh, since 1.0. I love to see space now. Yeah, it is satisfying. It seems like some kind of warehouse. You did say he knew you really well, didn't you? I guess that's a, that's a given. Yes. And that's because we used to be partners. What? Plot twist? But you're practically at each other's throats. Now you're telling us you used to work together? When I first came to Fontaine, we were both fledgling designers who longed to gain a foothold in the world of fashion. Finally, right before Fashion Week, he came to the conclusion that we wouldn't be able to make the designs we always dreamed of. And we parted ways. 
All I know is, after I opened Chiyore Boutique, he's harassed me every year since. Hmm. <laughs> he's just jealous of what you've accomplished. A guy like that doesn't deserve your sympathy. Well, let's focus on getting out of here first. Missing oh, the some is good as little backstory. Well, now I think I know what that other button was. Oh. Some big conveyor belts for some clothes. Uh -oh. oh shoot. Coming at you. Look over there. Oh, that's the third one. It's just like kind of like invisible a little bit. It's like a little uh a little faded out. This is cool because like you don't usually hear the like automated voices and stuff like that. This is a, yes, altogether this is actually a nice quest. It's always cool to see how they're gonna implement the character being playable. And sometimes they don't. Oh! Oh man! You couldn't miss that one. Oh wait. Oh okay. I was gonna say. Why could you? That was our way out. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> Could be like if you were looking at something else and like looked, looked away and moving forward, end up missing it. Oh, <gasps> those chambers couldn't hold you, I see. You should be what at fashion surprise. week. What are you doing? We've collected a bunch of evidence on all the nasty stuff happening at your fashion <laughs> week. Like You're not getting away this time, Uter. The evidence on your person, you mean? <laughs> what makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? Round of applause. More mechanical guards? Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate I purpose? I actually did say you'd have car mix in there. Oh, but this is a legitimate purpose. What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags. Both. Proving that fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance. <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself that you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater yeah. to it. Focus on your own work and you get to decide what fashion means. It's true. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, you'll cater to all the voices too, you know. After all, what is fashion but another form of public opinion? Yeah, these NPCs really got some crazy plans, I'll be honest. Sometimes. Fashion is about aspiring towards a certain ideal, but it's up to you to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. That's my ideal. And it's not going to change. Like he genuinely had a good plan of like framing her while he was while she was beating him up like that. That was like perfect. <laughs> well, once the people witness their former darling's spectacular fall, they'll understand how laughable that ideal truly is. That's what you've been trying to prove all this time? Your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long? <laughs> You weren't like this before, Uter. What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? He realized long ago how utterly naive and ridiculous that dream was. You gave up on your dream, but that wasn't enough, was it? Yes. You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand, but you're just a bitter man who let his regrets dictate his choices. You regret giving up on your dream. So you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice. This whole thing, Uter. Pathetic. It's pathetic. Pathetic? Why don't you take a look in the mirror? 
You're a fool daydreaming about taking all of Tibet by storm. Elation path? Well, good luck doing that when even Fontaine doesn't have a place for you anymore. <sighs> mm, no. You're right. Maybe all those who pursue their dreams are fools. But more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. Dang. You. Ooh. Sure, you go first. You got a show to catch. So, is this where Lenny Lynette coming? Yeah, just leave this guy to us. No, you go instead. But he has a gun. He's got a gun. <laughs> but true though, if only Shiori is there, no teams. Yeah, he'd be screwed. It'll be fine. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shoot, Fima. <laughs> I'll deal with him. Some missions are best delivered in person. Stay safe. Catch up with us soon. Trying to leave, are we? Do it. Oh, he did. I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. Ooh, the actual sword. <clears throat> But all that changed after our tour of your factory. Is that? Oh, no, it's actually not. <laughs> Still trying to talk tough, I see. No matter what you've been through, no matter why you've become like this. If I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. Mm -hmm, yeah, I heard that earlier. Navia. Or was it no? Allow me to show you the true meaning of the Chioria brand. Close until next time. Allow me to show you the true meaning of the Chioria brand. Through fighting. The Chioria brand represents more than a person or a trademark. Ooh. It's a way of life. Friends at Fontaine I did not Fashion think we were getting a cutscene right now. Eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today. Uh, uh, huh. <laughs> Brilliant, dazzling, and wholly unique. And most importantly, an enduring, never say die spirit. That's the true meaning of the Chioria brand. <laughs> Now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself. Uh. Did Chiori not? Uh. Lights, cameras, over here, please. Hmm? Let the show begin. Oh, the world may change. Okay. Fashion along with it. Oh my. But Chioria will remain the same. Yeah, Lenny. No challenge Navi. is too great. Chioria Jeez. caters to no one. Not even the times. Rather, Chioria will always lead the fashion of our time. Oh, her song. Let's not forget. Oh, everybody, everybody's print. This is clean. Only those who do not give up on their dreams are worthy of this brand. Well then, I suppose all that's left to say is happy fashion week, fellow dreamers. How did she? Oh, that was a good cutscene though, man. Dang. That was a great one. Lenny killed. I guess Lenny looked the best out of everybody. Can we get that Lenny skin, please? Oh, what the heck? Uh, how about this? That was good. So I guess after she said, let me show you the true definition of the Cheerio Boutique, I guess she did all that. Hmm. Our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat Box. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear. Pear would need an alias, of course. Hmm. How about... Uh, 
The Hangry Bird. Yes. What was that face? <laughs> so, does that mean your signboard is going to be two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single <laughs> hat? Ooh, that sounds two super cats and a penguin. And Angry Bird? And a bit cramped. <laughs> Miss Jiari, I'm done taking pictures. You can expect the article in tomorrow's Angry paper, Bird reference. Along with the Red Bird. The traveler gathered. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Huh? Um, about that. What'd you do now? The Spina di Rosula has prepared a special vehicle for you. So you can just get in and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. <laughs> what? No, that's so embarrassing. So many like, abrupt things. Huh? Ooh, do we get something nice to It's you? funny though. Of course. Just hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show, appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization, Oof. using weaponry in public, hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. Where, where even was the, the thing at? Um, Shivers, we can explain. If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, oh, please report them to the shit. special patrol at your earliest convenience. Enjoyed that, didn't you? <laughs> you nearly scared me half to death. <laughs> Here, take this. Just stabs us in the in the chest. Ching. Oh wow! A brooch! And then this oh, right. too! <gasps> Wait, Paimon gets one as well? Nope. I won't bow or scrape before any force in this world. Much less any individual. I'm confident in the quality of my work. Create something beautiful, and there will always be people who appreciate it. True. Well, guess there's nothing to worry about then. Should we go back and join them at the victory feast? Oh, yes, of course. But before that, I'd like to admire the view for just a little while longer. And ends right here. You know, of all the nights I've spent in Fontaine... I'd say this is the loveliest by far. <gasps> Act one. But what about the get together though? Are we gonna go eat the food? Navia, no. That was good though. That was, once again, you described it uh, perfectly where it kind of felt like it was a, it felt like a slice of life kind of episode. Um, I wish we could have got a little bit more detail on exactly what happened towards the end there. I kind of felt like we kind of got a little disconnected. The cutscene was like, it's very cool, but it was like very abrupt. I didn't think that was going to happen right in the middle of that fight. I was thinking that we were going to like play as Chiori and fight him and then see what happens. But we went from confronting him to... I guess knocking him out and letting all of his crimes out for people to know about it, making it public to actually going to the show and doing the show. And apparently we just did all, we did all that in that cutscene. So that was just kind of like a, it was a cool cutscene, but a lot happened very quickly. It was like a little, like, you know, the super fast ending. Uh, cake, okay, wait. I'm in. Oh, shoot. Letter from Emily, letter from Navia, Kirara, Shivers. Thank you, Miss Shiro, for your feedback on the fragrances. I placed a sample of my newest product in this letter. It's a recent experiment with the Roman uh, Romari Time fragrance. Also about the schedule for the next chat next test. Wait. Oh, okay. Hmm. Emily's on the arrival. Navia? It's a speeding party this evening and you're invited. PS Rope uh, Elf Elfe? Rope Elfe in as well, would you? Do -do. 
So when I saw my clothes and where I got them while I was on that literally run, Jory, uh, they said they wanted to set set up for their daughter. I attached the kid's size in the photo here. I'll drop by at the store when you pick it up the next time I'm in town. Hmm. The guards suspect the judge. Uh, clandestine uh, Ilsa Deal. His wife, a regular customer at your store. Please keep an eye out. What? Let's focus on her job. Emily's trying to make some Romari time. Oh, oh, dang, there's more. Travel plans? I heard there's a new clothing trend in Natland. We'll check it out when I have some time. Snizz Naya designs can be used as reference for winter wear if it's not on its if it's not on its way. Hmm. Okay. Snez Naya wear. The Mason Garden Edge employee speaking in the store of a deal between the superior and the tone was conclusive. Someone witnessed a, w a wanted crime coming and going. I fear that is just a rumor. Mm. Thanks for your recent support. Your, thanks for your recent report. Here are some new decorations for Monsoor Verite. Let's see when you get a chance. Tea only, by the way. No interviews. Mm -hmm. Natland designs. Vomius Warbo G. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, dang. All those stars. 